best in the business at this kind of thing. And Jim Wallace is joining us from Sojourners. He talks about the moral standards here. Now, when Mahoney comes out, when Archbishop Cardinal Mahoney comes out and says, this is akin to what they were doing in Nazi Germany, is he overreaching, Jim? Cardinal Roger Mahoney is a friend of mine. He's a, he's a Catholic cardinal. He's a moderate guy. We're, but they're attacking our people here. I mean, in this law, I'm here in Phoenix right now, they've turned loose all law enforcement on undocumented people. That means police out here are against this because they have to now go after mostly harmless people instead of violent criminals. And if your daughter is raped and you're I illegal, you're not going to call the police. Mm. So, so Cardinal Mahoney understands something that we as Christians want to make clear. The body of Christ, as we would call it, is not Latino, uh, uh, Anglo, African American. We are brothers and sisters. I and when they come after our Latino friends, they're coming after us. That's what, what he's saying. You come after them, you come after us. This is really harsh and over, over re, the overreaching is inside of the, let, the governor here. So let's talk about well, well, enforcement we're gonna, uh, with comprehensive reform. Let's see if he passes it. And comprehensive reform is obviously what all sides, including FAIR, by the way, want to get at. The guy who's uh, suggesting this bill, uh, Arizona State Senator Russell Pierce, is going to join me tomorrow. He might have a different view than the one that you just presented, but we'll present it to well, him. Do Let's them go together back to, is what I'm saying. Do them together. And I think most, a lot of people agree with that on both sides, by the way. Jonathan Turley, let me bring you back into this. Let's suppose this law is passed. Let's suppose the government, the, the governor, pardon me, uh, approves of this and doesn't veto it uh, and it goes to the courts to, all the way up to the federal possibly all the way to the Supreme Court w would this be upheld or overturned well it depends on which part of the bill there's a number of provisions that are troubling including uh, suing agencies for lack of performance if that's if that would include federal agencies well let's just let, let's just problem I, I don't mean to interrupt but let's just stop at the part of the bill that says that anyone with darker skin or that police believe might be an illegal immigrant has a right to be stopped and searched is that constitutional well the the Supreme Court has never uh, said that profiling per se is unconstitutional but they've always said uh, that it can be as applied and I think that this bill is really begging for a successful challenge. I don't see how you can do this. I don't see how you can have reasonable suspicion in looking at two different people and say, I bet that one doesn't have papers. Uh, and I think that courts would have a serious problem with the implications of mm -hmm. that, uh, particularly as it's focused on minorities. Uh, it's going to be a very arbitrarily applied law. It's poorly crafted. It also is a philosophical change for this country. We rejected the ideas of having papers laws, like Nazi Germany, of having to produce papers to show that you're, you're allowed to be here. Uh, and that's precisely what we're doing here. I don't think the Cardinal's analogy is out of line. No one's saying these legislators are Nazis, but they're using a law that we have long felt was offensive in the United States. We didn't mm. like the idea of police being able to stop you yeah. and say, prove to me that you can be here. That's interesting. Jonathan Turley, uh, Professor, my thanks to you. And uh, Jim Wallace, uh, always a pleasure being able to uh, have you on. Once again, tomorrow we're going to have the man who proposed this state law in Arizona. That's uh, State Senator Russell Pierce. When we come back, the latest on the situation in uh,